this week gonna work uh, from the bottom close guard. Uh, no, me. And I was uh, planning to do the close guard, but if I watch a few matches of this week and have a tournament, and I was glad to see a lot of close guard work for the the, the black belts. A lot of they put a lot of using, a lot of to be affected in the close guard. Not the ways that they control win, win matches too in the close guard. And when I say win matches or win fights, as long as that I I keep him busy to what about what I have to do with him, I'm winning this this battle. Huh? Let's say that if I'm gonna fight, if I can close the distance, block here, stop, peel this arm out, look for triangle, or hold the head so don't allow him to strike, right? I'm doing right. I'm a protect. It's the same kind of concept that you have for uh, avoid him to break your guard. If it's imposter is it's a is it, if imposter is in a position to start looking to break my guard, if imposter is in position to just strike it, right? And uh, it's kind of the same, the same mentality, the same idea. Got it? Same and part. we work a lot of different positions from the close guard, you know, from, from arm bar to swifts, from the back, for uh, grips, different grips is gonna usually dictate what you wanna take your, your opponent. And you're gonna focus on this one here. Let's see if he has the collar here, no? It's easy to attack the arms, it's up here, not this one here. But this one always gonna block you. If you try to go for this one, this arm is blocking you. Okay, I wanna get this the grip here and this grip in his elbow. What I want to do is uh, open up the elbow to bring him on top of me. Understand? As I'm doing this, I wanna get this arm crossed here. <coughs> You're gonna work the first position, I'm gonna get the arm the right position for me, and uh, what is gonna happen? Once I put the arm across, he's gonna try posture up. Once he posture up, I wanna catch him in the middle. Okay, it's gonna be more like this. Posture up real quick, yeah. If you try posture over here, I'm gonna open the elbow. Most of the I'm gonna use my leg. I pull the arm across here. Once I pull, I wanna exaggerate, pull him much as that I can. Once I have this, it's gonna try posture, uh, posture, yeah, posture up. Once you get posture up, stay here real quick. I wanna get my leg, climb my legs up to his shoulder. It's gonna be more like this. <coughs> pull, get the arm cross, and bring the arm this way. Before he has a chance, to post this on my chest to bring this arm back, I'm, I'm pulling with my legs. Once I pull here, he's gonna try posture up again. I'm gonna work to climb my leg. Sir. That makes sense, no? Sir. Once I have this, I wanna keep my knees tight, right? Uh, pressure the far leg, this leg here goes under his arm feet, the one up to the shoulder, and I'm gonna look for the arm bar. Before I shoot the arm bar, I wanna make sure I take much uh, weight as possible out of this leg here. I'm gonna push his weight this side now. I can sit my weight on my uh, on his uh, lap. This here, if I can throw the leg, it goes to the elbow. If I goes like this to throw my leg over, I'm out of position. See my legs too much gap here. You want to make sure that you swing it like this side to get the elbow. Again, you open the elbow. Also, look okay. it. I want this. Once I have this, I'm gonna pull. This way here, pull this way. Climb my legs. If he goes all the way up, open, open his shoulders, I'm gonna miss the opportunity to get my legs over. Right, his arm's gonna get back here. Yes, go back real quick. If I go like this, pull, he posture up, he bring the arm back, I lost the opportunity. What you want to do is, as he coming, as he going back there, is this. Got it? Sir. If from this, again, want to shift his weight more over, if you attack the right arm over his ar uh, right arm. Keep this leg high, don't let the leg drop. And drop this leg down. Got it? Sir. Sir. Any questions? Let's go, guys. Go on. One thing that uh, is important, and any, any grip fighting they do, especially in close guard. If he's there, concerned what you have to do, what you're doing, uh, you're doing well. Don't, say, don't, don't get frustrated. A lot of times you, you, you try once, and he br bring his arm back. You try second time, bring his arm back. But see, just him fighting, he stay there in front of you on his knees, this means that he concerned what you have to do. It. Don't stand. Yes, uh, it's not a easy set for this, you know. If you get it, like I said, if it goes like this, I'm pulling, he's fighting back, bring the arm back. That's good. 
he's, he's here. No matter if, even if I cannot get the, the grip right away, but let's say if I hold here, he's concerned about my grips here, he's staying my, on his knees. That, that's a sign for you. You need to understand the signs that he is given to you as you're rolling. Understand, it doesn't matter as open guard, close guard, uh, top, bottom, the reaction that he's doing from your movements, that shows how he's concerned or not from your, what you're doing. And this on bar, it's easy to catch. A lot of times as you're fighting for this, he, he try to get up, uh, he try to get up as he have his arm crossed over here. But stand, you go like this, he try to pull, and you get your arm right in the right position to attack him. Instead of him being more concerned, go back, he's feeling that uh, he, he's bringing his arm back, but he don't want to sit here for too long. He's already going up. And the, the, the space, the angle that they're going to give to you, the, the second or two, like last week, we emphasized a lot for the triangle. The two, one or two sacks that you have to shoot for the triangle you go for, it's kind of the same thing too. I'm going to cross here. You go up. If you can wrap your legs around his shoulder, you're going to catch him. Don't stand? Sir. Okay. But now we have this here. Kind of the same idea. Open the elbow and bring the arm cross. We've done different, different ways. We're done with this one here. It goes like this. I feel like controlling the elbow, like this here, is more powerful in terms of already bringing him towards me. You know because this one here goes this, you break, and goes like this. This one here, once I open the elbow, it's like he tried to posture up, you go like this to pull him. Now, this thing's already helping to get the arm where I want. Got it? Now, if I pull him all the way across this way, bring him with my leg, it stays super connected to me. Again, it's not very long to time me as he try to up because for sure he's gonna try, boom. And you, you can catch him, go ahead. You can catch him his way, his way back to posture. Do you understand? Sure. But if he's not, you know, if you do a, a good job to get down across, you hug him. Mm. Once you hug him, your, your, your best option is gonna be the wrist. You're gonna work with two different options over here. First one, you go like this, hug the head, you grab the wrist. Once you get the, the wrist, turn your elbow in and keep his head trapped here, right? And my first move for this is extend my hip and start coming up for the back position. To put my second hook there, I'm going to drag him towards me. Boom. I'm going to open up space for the hook and drive my feet in. From the back, I don't need to, to turn him. I don't need to turn him. If you stay in total position, that's his option. I'm going to flat him. Understand? The second option comes if I pull. That fight here, try, yeah. Open the elbow, get it around the elbow. See, if I get like this, I don't keep it up straight. Yeah, I'm not gonna turn. Sure. Get the elbow. If I cannot get this here, or because he extends his arm, or he's fighting to posture up, I need to stop him. Because if I keep fighting over here, he's gonna find a way to get all the way up, don't bring his arm back. Or put his arm in my chest, this one, yes, and start looking for it. Boom, bring this arm back. Do you understand? I don't have much time here. If, if, it goes, if it doesn't go like this right away because it's fighting, I need to stop him to come up. Or I'm going to stop him, I'm tying him as he, as he going up to unbar him. You guys want to send the idea for the unbar for the last one? But if, I, if it's not, I'm going to hold here. Get my hand deep as I can under his armpit here and hold the material. The gi. Okay, now I'm gonna switch this grip from this to this here, but stay tight. Don't let it face in you. If you try posture up here, it's gonna carry me. To the back. Or I'm gonna carry him, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull him hard enough that he's gonna flip. That can happen too. Open the elbow, put, put pressure, yeah, posture up, yeah. This. Try, try face me. Got it? Yes, sir. Any questions? Yes, 
Let's go, guys. We're up. Is that you got to the spot that all the wrists are oh, reach out for the the farm. Still work on this. Just to get his arm, bring him across this way a little more. But if he's go like this, he's gonna swing his leg back, this arm back. It's gonna be even hard for me to find grip of this arm or even the back. If I hold like this, he still can't try to bring his arm back. You understand? Try circle the arm a little more. Put pressure more. Yeah, what's for up? Got the wrist. Oh, oh, this one here. Oh, if you get the wrist, let's do it first in the wrist. A uh, common reaction for him, uh, once I get this here, as I start walking to his back, he's gonna try load his weight on top of me to try face me. But stand. And this can come too. Raise this leg to make it even harder. Yes, like this. You try to go this way. And his, his base his leg. What you want to do if raise his leg is you can see it makes hard a little harder for me to get up, get up there, right? Sure. And this arm here, this leg can pinch my hip and make my hip stuck between his leg. So the knee. Oh, what you have to do? Get to this one here. Get inside the leg again. He's doing the work for me. If you stop doing this, I'm gonna keep going. This way. The knee sh should not stop me. Don't say, but if you start driving his weight like this, get inside the leg. Once you get inside the leg, the reason now, especially because this, you want to throw him much as possible this way. To the side is not going to work because he's base. Right? But if you bring above your head, it's way easier for him to throw him. I don't, I don't know a, a better a control in a fight than this one here. Yeah? yeah? Sure. You can do whatever you want. Damage, you can unbar him, you can put him over his belly, hold him tight. You can wait for a rescue. Yeah, him, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Okay, yeah. and the, 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 the arm over the back, kind of the same thing. But you need to make sure, once you pull this way, you got the back here, you find grip. Don't trust like this here. You're not hugging your friend, okay? Uh, you need to make sure it's tighter than a hug. Get a grip and keep tight. Again, if I'm doing like this, try to put your weight on top here. Raise it. Yeah. Because if I if I loosen up a little bit here, the arm gonna go, go across the arm. Yeah, boom. You wanna make sure that I, once you get this, I'm fine. I'm gonna load the weight, I'm gonna start uh, sweep him just if I find a good grip with this hand. If it's just like this, I'm not even tempted. It's still work to do it. Got it? Sure. If I get this, push, got the arm cross. Again, start to take the back, start loading the weight on top. Yes. Hug tight, get inside the leg. Same thing. Okay. A little easier because we have your weight on top of him to find that grip. Got it? Let's go, guys.